have accounting for joint venture. So there are different methods of recording joint venture transactions. They can be broadly classified into two following methods. When separate sets of books are maintained and when separate sets of books are not maintained. So we have a method of one when separate sets of books are maintained for joint venture. As the business uh, as uh, the business duration is short, the books of accounts are not very comprehensive. The basic purpose is to ascertain the profit or loss on account of joint venture. Generally, under this approach, the following accounts are maintained. So we have joint venture account, we have joint bank account, we have co-venture account. So here we have separate sets of books of accounts. Uh, books are not maintained and we have one more method where separate sets of books are maintained separate sets of books are maintained separate sets of books are not maintained where separate sets of books are maintained we have joint venture account bank account and co venture account three accounts we prepare now what is joint venture account in this account in the debit side all expenses uh, paid personally by the co-venturers or out of joint bank irrespective of its nature that is capital or revenue are recorded in the credit side all sales to the outsiders as well as to the co-venturers are recorded so uh, uh, we have a joint venture account and under joint venture account we record all um, we debit all expenses and losses and uh, we record all credit okay we record all credit side uh, in, in credit side we record all incomes we record all incomes, we record all sales. Uh, so that's the joint venture part. Then we have joint bank account to record cash and bank transactions. A joint bank account was maintained. This is basically the cash book of the business. This could take a form of cash book with the cash and bank column. It will record the initial contributions made by each co-venturer, proceeds of sales, expenses and distribution of net balances among co-venturers on dissolution so we have joint bank account so what is joint bank account joint bank account will record all um, uh, cash and bank items all payment all receipt items which are done in cash and bank credit transactions will not have place here all cash and bank transactions will be recorded here co-venturer account co-venturers personal accounts are maintained to record transactions related to co-venture account so anything related to co-venturer, say Mr. A is bringing money, Mr. P uh, is bringing machinery, Mr. C is bringing capital. So any transaction related to co-venturer will be recorded here. So accounting entries are normally as follows. Contribution made by uh, contribution made by the co-venturer. So we have joint bank account to co-venturer account. Okay, then we have expenses paid through joint bank account. So contribution uh co-venturer is bringing some money okay in the form of capital so joint bank account to co-venturer account then we have expenses paid through joint bank account so we have joint venture account debit to joint bank account then we have expenses paid or goods supplied by co-venturer from private account so that is joint venture account debit to co-venture account so see what if we see first journal entry we have joint bank to co-venturer so he is debit what comes in and credit the giver expenses paid through joint bank account so we have joint venture account to joint bank account we have expenses paid through joint bank account okay we have expenses paid through joint bank account so what is joint bank account cash or bank account is going and paying cash or bank joint venture account debit where it is going joint venture account debit expenses paid or goods supplied by co-venturers from private account so we have joint venture account debit to co-venture account so expenses paid or goods supplied by co-venturer from private account so we have um, joint venture account debit to co-venturer account okay joint venture account debit to co-venturer account so we are paying away our expenses from our joint venture account so expenses account that is joint venture account debit who whoever is paying that co-venturer we have to credit sale proceeds of or sale proceeds of collections joint bank account debit to joint venture account so we have sales proceeds or collections so we have joint bank we we are bringing money okay we are bringing money so we have joint bank account debit to joint venture account sales proceeds or collections so who is giving Okay, who is giving this? So we have um, uh, co-venturer. Co-venturer is bringing this component. Then uh, co-venturer, uh, sorry, joint venture. I am selling my goods and 
bank coming in i am selling away my goods and bank is coming in so joint bank account to what debit what is in and credit what goes out goods are going out then i have collection received by co venturer so co venturer is collecting on behalf okay uh, so uh, on be my behalf means on behalf of the business so co venturer who whoever is receiving so debit uh, debit the receiver to joint venturer account assets taken over by the co venturer co venturer account debit to joint venture account then i have liabilities taken over by co venturer uh, joint venture account debit to co venture account profit on joint venture so i have joint venture account debit to co venture account okay profit on joint venture i have joint venture account debit to co venture liabilities taken away whoever is taking away that uh, that will come here assets taken over by co venturer co venturer account debit to joint venture account it will come here okay whoever is taking away the assets his name will come here whoever is taking away the liabilities his name will come here we are accordingly will debit or credit if it is asset will debit if it is co venturer we will debit the co venturer and if it is liability we will credit the co venturer profit on joint venture so joint venture account debit to co venturer account loss on joint venture co venturer account debit to joint venture account okay so profit and loss we have recorded then we have final settlement made to co venturer so co venturer account debit to joint bank account so this way we have our journal entries now we have next part that is sagar and pakhi entered into a joint venture and undertook building construction of pn company limited mumbai for 5 lakhs the following information are available for undertaking business so looking at the question here we are required to prepare separate books of accounts i'll take up this video lecture in my separate uh, this sum in my separate video lecture i hope you are comfortable with the journal entries last we are settling the accounts final settlement whatever amount we have we are paying away to the co-venturers profit and loss we are transferring to the joint venture and then that profit and loss part we are transferring it to the co-venturer respected co-venturer okay last 6 7 8 9 10 is related to co-venturer assets and liabilities whatever is left out after the venture is done we transfer that asset and liabilities to the venturer profit and loss also we transfer it to the venturer and final settlement made to the co-venturer that amount whatever is the amount left final settlement we make it with the co-venturer i hope you are comfortable with the lecture thank you